Lydia, where are we? On the cemetery, Vistinlev Cemetery. It's a, a memorial day, uh, last this year in autumn, usually people put candles oh. on, the, on the graves and at night it's very beautiful. Greetings, it's Parkalt here. I'm going to share with you the significance of All Souls Day, also known as Evening by Candlelight, which is typically observed in Latvia from September to October. We are at Vistinle Cemetery in Praulina, the Madonna region. This is a grave of my nanny, uh, Aboling Mate, uh, Otilia, Aboling Tavs, uh, Edwards, and their kid. And I believe no one can come anymore uh, to this grave. I just lighten the candle for everyone of them. We're the only ones that remember them. Yes. At least you are. Probably their kids and the grandkids are not so close to here. But I remember them. Okay. Very good. Evening by candlelight marks the traditional start of autumn in cemeteries. During this time, graves are adorned with pine needles and decorated with autumn flowers, and candles are lit as a way to remember, commemorate, and honor our dearly departed. This is in Yuris and Alexandra Varkalis, and uh, they were my mom's friends. I was a small girl when she taught me to cook Latvian home cakes and not only and oh, many other things. She's the person I have to thank for such delicious food. Yes. Wow, thank you. Markel <laughs> Mate. I when I was small girl, so I lightened the candle for them. When I was a small girl, uh, very often I run to their house and help her to make cakes. Nice. All Souls Day was officially established by Tem Imperial Huan Zong in 732 AD. He established a single date when people were allowed to visit the graves of their ancestors. Before this, wealthy Chinese commemorated their deceased relatives whenever they wanted and on a grand scale. In Europe, All Souls Day was introduced by the Abbot Odilon of Cluny. His decree, dated 998, has survived to this day. Soon, this tradition Friends. spread through the entire Catholic Church. So, Mick, let's, <laughs> let's like a papa. And here's for her papa. Papa. And my grandmother. And your grandmother. Yes. She she died first before my father. Yeah. Well, that's the natural way of things, right? Yes. In Rome, this holiday emerged in the early 14th century. The Roman Catholic Church observes the Day of Remembrance of the Dermitian Monuments just once a year, while in Orthodoxy there are multiple such days. In various countries it's a customary to visit cemeteries, adorn graves with greenery and flowers, light candles and partake in a family meal. We, do, we don't have any doubt that people in our family are nice. One key and universally accepted practice involves preparing ritual dishes intended for the souls of the departed. Traditional beliefs connect the idea of souls returning to earth at various points of the yearly cycle. Slavic Catholics believe that at this time Deceased family members would come to their homes, wander in the yard, pass by the house's windows and enter the house. They sought warmth near the stove and looked for offerings of food before returning to the afterlife. It was strictly forbidden to spy on or interfere with their rituals. In 
1816, the Prussian Evangelical Lutheran Church established Remembrance Day, or Eternity Sunday, on the last church Sunday of the year before Advent. In 1831, it was adopted by the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Saxony, and in 1832, by the leaders of the Latvian Evangelical Church, especially the Lutheran Church of the Consistory of Kurzeme, Witzeme, and Riga. After we lit the candles, we returned home to share a heartfelt and joyful dinner with our relatives until darkness fell. What do you think, Vic, about the candle? Candle memory day, let's say. Oh, I love it. It's very special. I can't wait to go back and see it in the dark. Going home to have dinner with our guests, which are your relatives, and uh, we're going to have a great time. Our dinner was so heartfelt and enjoyable that I even forgot to record a video. But now, we are heading back to the cemetery. In every culture, the commemoration of the deceased is treated with a deep respect. In Latvia, our ancestors made sure to bury their loved ones following all religious customs. In ancient times, Latvians had sacred cemeteries where not only burials took place, but also important local rituals were held. We returned there to see its beauty and offer our remembrance to those who passed away once again. According to the Polish anthropologist Vladkowski, the tradition of commemorating the deceased has pagan roots, with people gathering in special rituals to communicate with the departed and invite them into our world. This pagan ritual was once prevalent not only in Latvia, but also in Poland and Russia. Very beautiful. Yes, very interesting, yeah? So how it feels? It's great. <laughs> I'm glad what we're here. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Der kalne nu zinta, arī mūsu kaimi jaunai vors also here. The cemetery takes on a breathtakingly beautiful aura during the evening candlelight. In some places multiple candles are lit, while in others just one candle is customary. Most people visit in the evening, and it's magical sight with all the candles. We arrived quite late after our family dinner. It almost felt like midnight. We gazed at the flickering candles, and the scene was so beautiful. Mick invited me for a walk to the cemetery, but I decline. So late it gave me a slight sense of being scary. I invite all of you to care for the graves, cater fallen leaves, light the candles and remember your loved ones in your own way regardless of your family's traditions or faith. Please click like and subscribe to my channel, watch my videos and support life. Yours truly, Sparklet.